Hi. What's up, everybody? My name is Russ with RWGResearch.com. And you, I guess. So here we are. This is another RWG CRV comment response video. And it's been a little while. I've been trying to make this video for approximately two weeks. Three weeks probably is more accurate. And uh, most of the reason is because I got really sick. Um, I haven't been sick in a long time, but when I get sick, it just seems like I get real sick. So I happen to get the flu again. This is the the last time I remember being really, really sick was probably like three or four years ago, and I had the flu. So I guess I can't complain, but the, one of the problems was is I actually had a fever for almost six days. So cold chills and hot chills for six days is just not fun. That's life. I know a bunch of you are going to leave me comments. We'll do this, do that, take this, take that. I take a lot of vitamins and try to eat healthy. So, you know, I do what I can, but occasionally I get sick, I guess. That's what happens. My daughter just started school, too. So, you know, that could be part of it. Anyway, I got a lot to say in this video, so just bear with me here. Um... I'll have a whole bunch of stuff. I wrote notes because it took me three days to remember everything I was going to say. So let's get started. First of all, uh, some video recap. So Jean-Paul came to visit. I can't believe it's been that long ago. It's been almost like two months since I made a video. Um, that was like the first one after the comment response video previously. So Jean-Paul came for a visit. Absolutely wonderful to spend some time with him. Really appreciate him coming out and having a visit, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was my cold fusion announcement video, so I have been working on stuff. Got some upcoming stuff on that to show you, so look forward to that. Off came to visit. Off, you rock, dude. That was a lot of fun. Off just, like, cheered me up so much. I just felt like a whole new attitude for life after after he came in to visit it because it was just it was nice to see somebody just freely roaming the world trying to figure something out it was it was refreshing to see that so that was kind of nice uh then i made the styrofoam cutter video that was pretty fun i hope you guys liked that one i tried to give a little more you know build in that video which sometimes i don't get the opportunity to do so i took that one as an opportunity i went and visited jason and friends um all you guys were freaking awesome and I uh, really appreciate you guys inviting me to that little in in event. And um, I'll have to find out where they posted the rest of those videos. But I only posted the one that I took while I was there. Random IC burning video. <laughs> that was definitely a random video. Sometimes, you know, you got to burn something up. It just feels right. And I enjoy it. So I did. Uh, Jim came and visited. That was really cool. Jim from Australia. He was supposed to come last year and he didn't. And I just kind of ignored the fact that he never came and then then he showed up uh, pretty much at my doorstep and I was like freaking sweet so that was cool and then chip clips video with my wife hope you guys enjoyed that one I've been actually wanting to make that video for a while and just I asked my wife if she would help me out and she said yes normally she's always like no I don't want to be in the video and this time she's like yeah I was like really you're not gonna complain or like have a fit because I want to actually like make a fun video with you so I was really appreciative of that. That was really fun. All right. Um, so that's the videos I published in this long time. Usually I'm going to try to do this more often, but I just I've been sick and haven't felt well. Um, so what else do we have? Um, well, I'll do the announcements. I got this stuff all kind of mixed up. If you guys want my comments replied to in this comment response video leave the leave the actual questions you want me to answer in this video um, if there's other stuff that's really too long to type you know I'll respond to it in this video however I'm gonna tell you that there's probably gonna be a lot of comments and I'm only gonna get to a few currently I'm only responding to one comment in this particular um, moment in time and the comment said uh, Leadfoot Lawnmower is the guy's name he said for having five kids, you seem like a very jolly person. Now, I'm reading this comment because I have to express to you, everyone, that um, my wife, first of all, is, a, is one big giant reason that I'm still very happy because 
Um, although we don't have, you know, we all we all have our own problems and stuff, and we have our own problems. We get along fairly well, but we definitely have our issues. And uh, life is what you make it. So I'm jolly because I like to make my life jolly. I look for all the positive things. I try not to dwell on all the negative things. Sure, I've gotten myself into a negative pitch sometime, and I just get drawn into the negativity. However, you have to just remember to pull yourself back out. And sometimes that's really hard to do. And sometimes you need help to do that. So, you know, if you're in like a really dark place, you got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of negativity around you, try to look for something good. And if you need some help, I mean, uh, you know, a guy like me, I'll try to help you if I can, you know, but uh, I don't know how I can do that. Sometimes you just have to look for the positive things. There's always trolls and there's always negative things happening. There's always negative comments. There's people trying to give you positive criticisms, which sometimes isn't. Sometimes they don't understand all of the things that are going on. So my response to being a jolly person is because I make it what I want it to be. Um, if I want it to be exciting and happy and jolly, then I make it. Sometimes that's not easy, but sometimes you just have to make that choice. So that's the comment I picked to respond to. Uh, so again, if you have questions, leave them in this video comment section here below. But I'm not going to get to very many of them. I'm going to just pick a selection, and I'm going to do that every time. Um, we'll see how that goes. So uh, one thing, well, yeah, I'll do that last. All right, so coming up, John Hutchinson's, I made a, a video that's almost two and a half hours long. I'm going to split it into three sections and upload it because it's way too big. So those will be the videos I'll be uploading next. Um, look forward to those. I have more John Hutchinson videos, but I just have to sit down and edit it. Um, I want to thank um, one individual, which uh, Jim, I believe, probably, for, probably screwed that up. But he helped me edit the audio for me because he can do it a lot faster than what I can achieve with what I have. So thank you. There's been other people offer some video audio for the videos that I make. If you guys have audios that you want me to use in my videos, and I like it, and I'll use it. So send it to me and give me the rights to it to just share it on my videos, and I'll do that. Um, another video I got coming up is Cold Fusion Experiment Setup. I've got kind of what I did in that video set it up, and uh, I think you'll like that. Um... One other thing I'd like to say, there's a gentleman by the name of Anthony. He also goes by the YouTube username High Voltage Rules. Um, so I tried to help him out, and I'm going to tell you what he needs, and if there's somebody that can get a hold of the proper information and has a little bit more time to help him do that. He, oh man, how long has that been out of focus? I hope not the whole freaking time. Sometimes I really hate this camera. If it's, if it's been out of focus, I'm sorry. I'm not going to redo this video. Um, anyway, the guy by the name of High Voltage Rules, he's asked for some VFD help. Um, and I tried to help him a little bit, but I didn't get very far. But I gave him kind of my knowledge base. He's got a bunch of old VFDs, and he'd like to get them working. And he wants a little base knowledge on how to do that. He's a pretty smart guy. He actually does a lot of really cool, fun, high-voltage stuff. He always goes to the scrapyard, and I'm really jealous about it. He brings back these amazing things, and I'm like, oh. But I'm kind of glad that I don't have that access because I don't have room for half this stuff. Uh, anyway, so if you have experience in VFD, I'll link the video in the description down here so you can see what he's trying to figure out. Go help the guy out and subscribe to his channel. It's a really great guy. And there's other people I should probably mention, and you're going to get mad at me for not mentioning you. But, you know, Anthony uh, asked me to ask you guys for a little help, and so I'm reaching out to you. Um, okay, so let's see... Uh, I'll leave that for last. So, what else do I got? If you haven't noticed, I've been recording everything in 1080p, 60 frames a second. I really like the 60 frames a second. The motion just looks so real. I can wave my arms, and I'm actually like waving my arms, and it's not like doing this in the video. It's It just looks so much better. So make sure you check the option for the high-resolution playback, 60 frames a second, and you'll see the difference. Um, if you like that, let me know. If you don't like that, you can let me know, but I'm going to stick with it anyway because I personally like it. When I watch someone else's video with 60 frames a second, I just feel like I'm just sitting there. It just feels nice. Um, if you've sent me an email in the last, like, three months or longer, and I have not responded to it, 
resend it and I'll try to respond to it. I've actually starred some of the ones that I want to respond to and I still just haven't had the time to sit down and go back and do that. And I apologize if you sent me an email and I haven't responded. I know that's kind of rude. However, I have to do what I have to do and sometimes I don't get to my emails. So make sure you resend the email and tell me that you're resending it and I'll make sure I respond, all right? I'll do my best. I'm only one guy. I can only do so much. Okay. Uh, some announcements I'd like to make. If you like 3D printing, you must subscribe to my new 3D printing channel. I have a 3D printing channel only for 3D printing. However, it's just for live streaming. I'm not uploading other things like uh, interesting videos about 3D printing. Those will be on this channel. But if you want to watch 3D printing live and have a little chat conversation going on, uh, I, I, I stream live on my website, but when I stream live and then I only do 3D printing and people get bored and they don't really check in. So I'm, I'm dedicating 3D printing solely to a channel. If you Google 3D printing live, all one word, no spaces, you'll find the YouTube channel. I'll link it in the description as well. The second thing is, is I used to use uh, Justin.tv and that got closed down and now I use Ustream on my website. However, I've been waiting for YouTube to actually allow me to encode my own stuff and send it directly to them and then it will play live. Um, with that said, my phone decided to shut off, but I actually have the, uh, if it's going to play, it's not going to play, is it? I don't get very good signal out here. Um, oh, also make sure you do the high resolution for the, uh, for the 3D printing. Well, let me let this load again. There it goes. So here we are. I'm actually 3D printing live as we speak. Um, and this will be where I'm at. Now, you can see up there I've got the chat somewhere else. So make sure you pay attention. I usually don't pay attention to the chat, although nobody's on here anyway right now. Um, but anyway, so 3D printing live, this is what it's going to look like usually. And I'll actually be 3D, 3D printing stuff live. Um, so check that out if you like 3D printing. If you don't, it, it doesn't matter. You might like it anyway occasionally, so check that out. Now, like I said, I used to used to live stream on these other things. YouTube finally upgraded their system, so I'm going to ditch Ustream, and I'm going to use my original YouTube Live account, which is RWG Research Live. All one word. It'll be in the description. Now... I'm going to live stream there all the time. One of the dilemmas is, if you're not subscribed to my Ustream account, you do not get notifications when I go live. Now, I started an email subscription list. If you'd like to be a part of that, I'll also put that in the description. Now, the thing is, is it's really difficult for me to send an email out every time I want to just live stream something random. And I'm leaving it up to you to subscribe to RWG Research Live. You will get a notification through YouTube if you have it turned on. And you'll actually get a notification when I go live. I've been live quite a lot and nobody shows up and it's kind of like a waste of my time, but I do it anyway because, you know, I can archive actually those videos on, on YouTube. Now, I don't always have my audio on because I'm doing stuff that other people are around me and I don't want to broadcast all the audio if there's something that doesn't need to be broadcasted. So, sometimes I don't have audio on, but I am always in the chat, if I remember to turn it on. Chat is always at um, open-source-energy.com forward slash chat. I don't usually use the YouTube chat right now because I can't pop it out. I have to watch my own video and that uses a bunch of memory and it just, I don't like it. So, I usually use the other chat. So, 3D Printing Live, all one word, RWG Research Live. Make sure you subscribe to those two channels. Even if you're not interested, you should subscribe because you may get interested and you want to remember and I'm only going to announce this every once in a while. Okay, so I have two more things to say. One of them I'm going to put in another video because I want to make sure everyone watches it. So I'll announce that later. Um, I'll give you a sneak peek of what it is. I would like to ask everybody to create, or people who are interested, to create a new introduction for my videos. I've had the same video for a long time and I still like it but I'm okay with change. Um, the audio, the new audio that I've been playing is actually a voicemail from Jason Verbelli. That's actually a voicemail audio that he left. And he let all, he left off 
the dot org for open dash source dash energy dot org. He just left it, so I just, I use it anyway because I think it's it's fun. But that's going to be in another video, so everybody gets to see it. But something to think about. You can start working on it if you'd like. Um, all right, so I have one important piece of information. This is something that I got told at one time, and I thought I remembered who told me, but apparently, maybe I'm wrong, so I'm not going to mention who told me, because I think I forgot. Um, if you are starting your YouTube channel, or if you're really big and popular and you're watching this video, if you are got a lot of subscribers, or if you're just starting out fresh, um, I have some advice for you, and it's very important, and I've learned that it helped me out a bunch. One of the most important things that you can do as a YouTuber, as a blogger, is make sure that you, when you produce a video or you produce a video like this where you're talking about what you're going to be doing or whatever it is, I'm going to try to save you some grief and some frustration with yourself and possibly some negativity that could happen within yourself. And that is um, this one piece of information. You need to share what you have done, okay? Not what you're going to do. It's okay to share what you're doing. It's okay to share what you've done, but don't make a video talking about something you're going to do because life happens, all right? So I've learned in the past that I would agree to do something and I'd announce it to the YouTube community and then I wouldn't get to it because something dramatic would happen, like I'd get sick or some family matter would happen and I didn't I couldn't get back to it. So one of the most important pieces of information that I can give you, share what you have done. Talk about it all you'd like. Perfect. You can even be a little greedy about yourself if that's your personality type. Sometimes that's okay. But and you can even share what you're doing. Okay? Share what you've done, share what you're doing. But don't share what you're going to do. It's okay to get people excited about what you're going to do. But when you fail to do that because of a family matter, you feel guilty and you feel like you've got a lot of weight on your shoulders. I've done this like four times. All right, The first one really, really bugged me for like a really long time that I didn't get to do what I said I was going to do. Because I'm a man of my word, but I didn't get to do that item because of life. And I felt guilty for a long time and I finally did it. And I felt better about it. Then I did that same scenario again. And I'm like, why did I do that? And that happened about three or four times. And finally, I've learned my lesson enough to not talk about it. So I kind of broke my own rule by telling you what's coming up, which is John Hutchinson videos and Cold Fusion setup. But I've already recorded those videos. So I'm talking about what I've done, not what I'm going to do. Um, unless something crazy happens, the world explodes, and you're not going to get to see it. I'm sorry, but shouldn't be the case. So those are my words to you. Um, literally, I think I got everything in there. Um, I'll try to make these videos a little more often so I don't have so much in one and it can be a little bit shorter. This one happens to be really long and I apologize. I'm in the shed, the tool shed if you want to call it that. It's my home shop and uh, some floaties around going on. All right, I hope the beginning of this video wasn't blurry. I didn't look over here and see if it was or not. Stupid autofocus. So you know what broke my autofocus? I finally figured it out. I was at the Global BEM conference and I got really close to the big giant magnet on the serial effect generator mock-up. And I think it messed up my camera. Because now the autofocus just doesn't seem to work very well. Okay, peace and love. I love you guys. I really appreciate your feedback. I really appreciate your comments. I really appreciate the thumbs up. I really appreciate the thumbs down. I appreciate it all. Sometimes positive criticism is okay. Sometimes you just have to ignore what they're telling you. Because that's what just life happens. Don't let the 1% drag you down, people. Alright, peace out. Have a good day. God bless. Let's see if I can forget to turn this off. Autofocus. See? It used to just like, boom! Focus. And now it's kind of screwy. Alright, peace.